I recently met with someone who was trying to make the right choice and they were absolutely terrified of making the wrong one. And their fear wasn't simply about discerning God's will, it was about disappointing God, or worse, failing Him. If they made the wrong decision with the wrong motivation, they worried that God would punish them for it. And listen, this is a common fear among Christians. Many followers of Jesus live with this worry that God will judge us for our sin despite receiving His gift of grace and salvation. Either consciously or subconsciously, we operate out of a place of fear rather than love, and it's often because of stories like Noah and the flood. Now, this fear of judgment would be understandable if the flood was the end of the story, but thankfully, it isn't. Instead, the flood is only a chapter in a bigger redemptive plan. What we encounter in the chapters following the flood is a second story of creation. It's as if God wipes the slate clean and begins again. In the same way God directed Adam and Eve to be fruitful and multiply, He commands Noah in verse 1 to do the same. And He also promises never to rain down this kind of judgment again. Let's look at verses 11 through 13. Yes, I am confirming my covenant with you. Never again will floodwaters kill all living creatures. Never again will a flood destroy the earth. Then God said, I am giving you a sign of my covenant with you and with all living creatures for all generations to come. I have placed my rainbow in the clouds. It is the sign of my covenant with you and with all the earth. Listen, what God's offering isn't a cold legal contract, but a relational covenant that's instituted and upheld by God. God is our rescuer and our redeemer who gives everything he has to deliver us. And in every story that follows, God affirms these two things, this covenant and his commitment to preserve his people. And ultimately, he fulfills it in Christ. Jesus receives our judgment and achieves our redemption and then makes this restoration available to all who enter through this covenant through him. Because of Christ, God looks at us and all our weakness and mistakes and promises never again.